Oh god.
Ooh, Nelly. Okay. Okay. Apologies for that delay. Uh, really snuck up on me. That really snuck up on But, uh, now that's taken care of, go ahead and jump into today's prompt, baby. Bada boom, freebie? Freebie would be nice today. Make me a little less stressed. Fuck. Caps Inktober. Okay, let's see what this is all about. That's an interesting one. Um, I feel like that's something you can work with and you don't have to make it super complicated, but I'm just trying to think of a good idea.
gone. Gone, gone, gone. Um... I think it's a good enough dumb little idea. Hashtag good enough. Let's run with it.
What's cracking? You're catching one of the elusive daytime streams. I feel so dirty. I got a bachelor party to go to tonight, so I had to crank this out ahead of time. I know it's only halfway through October. I know, I know. Hey, next weekend though, next weekend we're gonna be full degen mode. I'm planning on streaming damn near the entire weekend away. Make a big push for some donations, do some gaming, watch some movies. And obviously draw some dumb bullshit. This year, more than ever, I'm starting to realize that I think the key to a great Inktober is like a balance between uh, the drawings and the games. So don't feel too bad. All you're doing is missing out on uh, me drawing shit. I did miss out on me getting suspended for drawing uh, dick and balls. That was that was pretty fun. Other than that, though, it's been business as usual. How are you doing? I appreciate you liking my posts on Insta. I see you, I see you. some fancy wine today let's go how fancy are we talking and is it a red wine or a white wine A whole 15 euro? Damn, you went all out, girl. Well, I hope you enjoy that barefoot Moscato. <laughs> oh my god, you and me both. You and me both. I don't know what it is, but I do not like red wine. Big fan of white wine, though. I, I can down that. I still don't opt for it too much but yeah white wine over red any day of the week not the barefoot back with dumplings let's go that sounds like a great lunch
Any resi after this? Um, probably not. No. I kind of don't like really know what's going on because right now they're all golfing on like outside of town here. And then I'm gonna be meeting up with them at the Airbnb. I have no idea how long it's gonna take for them to finish golfing. They started like an hour and a half ago. this out in like the next 20 minutes then yeah i'll probably boot it up for a little bit but might not be a long session at all yeah i know trust me i wish i could But we'll see. It might just happen yet. It might just happen yet. struggling with this creature design right now like he's giving off big furry vibes oh hell yeah he looks a little like a furry does he look like the kind of furry that like would be telling you not to take drugs school mascot-esque furry Does drugs. Probably smokes from a pipe and does dabs. What's wrong with that? You calling me a furry? Minus the dabs part. I don't fuck with that. How many different jokes can I make about their fucking yitties, dude? <laughs> I feel like this Inktober I have exhausted every single boob joke I can possibly get out of these characters. I did dabs with an old houseman and watched a majority of the Clone Wars series. <laughs> Yeah, I can't say I've ever actually, like, taken a dab, but uh, I don't know. It'd probably be fine in, like, a chill environment, but I don't think I'd want to do it with other people. 
when it comes to experimenting i would literally rather like go through shit by myself than with others i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing some friends who like to light up before going out i don't like that i'm like geez man when i'm getting high like it's kind of like me chilling out end of the night i'm sure for some people it like maybe helps them chill out when they're going out maybe not feel as anxious so props to them, it, you know, it's their business if that's the case, but for me, it doesn't even make me anxious. It just like makes me chill, like I get tired. But different strokes for different folks. Everyone's unique reactions to drugs is what makes this a beautiful, beautiful existence, you know? Introverts who smoke are generally more introverted and vice versa with extroverted people. Interesting. I mean, I constantly fucking light up before playing a game on stream and stuff. I feel like it does make me yap a little bit more and be a little more uh, quippy. When I'm going out, man, it's the booze that's gonna make me outgoing. progressively get worse and then I get really tired because I you could tell like two hours into it that I'm just like buffet buffet playing games 
Boof I play guy now. That's literally me. Especially with this THCA shit. I don't know if he'd tried that at all, but like that's what's legal in Wisconsin. And it definitely like it gets me a high, no doubt about it, but I it come down so much faster. It's like a harsher come down. But it just begs the question, like, is it even worth it? What sucks is the state I moved to as a ban on weed, dude. Fuck that. You know what they should ban instead? Killing people. Uh, hello. It's just that easy. <laughs> just make it illegal to kill people, you know? <laughs> no, that does suck though. Like I said, I mean, it's still illegal here, quote unquote, but then you have the dispensaries that work around it by making this THCA shit. And it's like, who knows what I'm ingesting when I smoke this stuff. It's all, it's all so dumb. Please do, I want to see it.
Well, I also just found out this morning that the, uh... The, uh, Halloween party that we always go to every year, the night before I do the big stream, is actually the following weekend, you know, the first weekend of November. Which I'm gonna be out of town for. So I'm not sure if we were planning on going somewhere else that Saturday night, but uh, if not, that might mean like a totally uninterrupted weekend of streaming. Might end up doing like an actual fucking subathon or something, sleep on camera. Are you gonna dress up? Dude, I still need to figure out what my costume is gonna be. I mean, no matter what, I'm gonna dress up for the stream, but. I already did a costume on day one. And honestly, I probably should have just held off on that costume until the last day. Made outfit cat ears? Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Nah, TBH, that would be kinda hot, wouldn't it? <laughs> Me too. Do 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 do. This sounds like the Mario Kart menu music. Today's the 19th. Oh my God, dude, the last day of the teens. Tomorrow we are in the 20s. The final stretch begins. God damn, God damn. You'll love to see it. I think it's better if I just draw him around. This is very similar to a prompt I did a couple years ago. I think the prompt was forgot. I drew the guy. That was before I like had the, the man boob aesthetic going, but I drew like a random guy just running off the canvas, flipping off the viewer. 
kind of mean in high si hindsight, but that was like another day like this, day 19 or 20, where I was just so over it. And the caption was, oops, I guess I forgot to do today's prop. <laughs> It, just, it wasn't it wasn't played well at all. This one at least is kind of funny. I've been thinking about that turtle girl. I feel like I should like the next step here is to actually establish a couple of repeat characters with these guys. I've had a couple of these comics really pop off on Reddit, and there are some people who seem like genuinely vested. I'll use like a random filler name when I'm doing like a comic with these guys, but then I see people coming to the comics and they'll like say the guy's name again in a separate one because you know he was blue. There's a blue guy in one comic, there's a blue guy that shows up again later, so then that must be Michael in their eyes. I've never looked at it that way, but I kind of like the idea of maybe fleshing him out a little more. Considering the fact that I, like, abuse this style a lot now. I do have a Reddit. It's not Sploofe. It's like, <laughs> it's like Adlong or something. Let me send it. Adlong. 2308 You gotta go through some of those or actually sort my posts by top Because a couple of them fucking popped off man That stupid Simpsons one got 34,000 upvotes Trolley problem got 24,000 and then someone called me out for plagiarism in the first comment. celebrity <laughs> dude so funny story turtle girl we did a whole stream about this you would have loved it when the the trolley one popped off there was so much to unpack so i did a whole stream just doing a deep dive into the comments and like what was going on i got inducted into a very exclusive club in reddit um, what the hell was it called? I want to say the, the, it was a really dumb thing, like the all timers club or something. Let me, let me quick actually like give you the real name here. Just give me a second to track it down. The eternity club. Apparently that trolley problem comic it well, I shouldn't say apparently we saw it on stream It actually made it to the front page of reddit. It was like the 10th post if you scroll down So I got an invite into the quote-unquote eternity club, which is where People who make it to the front page of reddit have like their own little personalized little hangout 
So I'm sitting there like, oh shit, I might actually be in with like some big names on Reddit. No, it, it's just like freaking lonely white guys, middle-aged white guys sharing selfies of themselves, getting five upvotes. Super depressing. <laughs> Super anticlimactic. Yeah, I know. I, I, it really doesn't surprise me either. I don't even know why I got my hopes up. But no, I mean, the comments are wild to read too, because some people really like this stuff and some people really hate these comics. <laughs> Some people are leaving like two paragraphs of feedback and th those are the ones that piss me off the most. People who are like trying to give me this unsolicited advice. Every single post has people asking why they're naked. And they really only seem to like the long comics. Like my, the four panel ones do not do nearly as well, but if I do some longer ones that are, you know, 10 panels or more, those always seem to do what very well, no matter what. All my followers are creepy men, though, so you're doing better than me. <laughs> I think creepy men just kind of run the internet. I'm the safe haven from the creepy men. No creepy men want to come here because I already am a creepy man. This is a safe haven. We are at our max for creepy men. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You're right. How the hell can I not think of a Don? <laughs> We've already hit the threshold. <laughs> This one's such a cop-out chat, but what do you want from me? It fits. It fits. We had a pretty baller one last night. You know, you gotta be, gotta have some strategery with the effort output on Inktober. Plus, at the end of the day, the man boob guys always do the best for me, which is crazy.
The one last night was wild. I part of me actually like wants to go back to it and add a couple more things and do some better lighting with it, but at the same time it's like, dude, just leave it be. good though I just looked at it again Adon said I should post it on the blues clues reddit what if I kind of want to <laughs> I think I maybe should. I mean, who the hell's on the Blues Clues Reddit? Let's take a look right now. Who the hell is on there? All right, well, right away here, this is a good, good start. Come on now. The description says, welcome to the Blue's Clues subreddit. There are no rules, except it has to be Blue's Clues related. Go for it. <laughs> How is the Filipino representation in the new Blue's Clues? Josh looks high. Anyone else think Josh looks high in the first episode? A whole 1,000 members. <laughs> I'm amazed it has even that much. All right, let's see. Let's see what like the top posts are looking like. Blues Clues and you got quiet canceled. Oh, that's sick, dude. I actually really like this. <laughs> the Brian the family guy one. <laughs> This is so good. Yo, what up, creature? Yeah, I got a bachelor party to go to in a couple hours. So, early stream today. It's a light workload. All right, we're gonna post it right now. it right now and then we'll see how it's looking in a few minutes I'm gonna get in trouble dude oh I'm just like actively working on getting all of my accounts banned scared dude
There's one person online in the Blues Clues community. It's probably me. Oh my God. See, look, I mean, there's people who are this obsessed with blue. Like what if they see my drawing and they take it as like a personal attack and they start like doxing me and they fucking hire a hitman come after me. What's wrong with today's prompt? Today's prompt is just fine. I'm working on it right now. It's an easy one. It was last night's prompt. I got a little wild. It was another chat's choice last night. Third frickin' time that's happened. Alright, I'm posting it on Blue's Clues subreddit. I'm titling it Resurrection of the Old Gods. <laughs> um. <laughs> Caption says, I was told to post this here. Hope I'm not ruining any childhoods. They're bringing Steve back out of love. That was my whole thing, dude. It's, it's disturbing, yes, but is it mean-spirited? Not really. For them, it's just like another episode. They're just trying to like bring their best friend back. Of course he did. <laughs> I love the weight that Don's name carries in this chat. <laughs> to be fair, it was Blue's Clues slash Reading Rainbow slash Mr. Rogers. Uh, and I had to go with the one that I was most familiar with. I don't know why I'm saying to be fair, like it makes it any less weird or creepy that he wanted that so badly. Barely know the guy, but it makes sense. <laughs> you don't need to know too much about it, Don. <laughs> He's gonna watch this VOD and just hear us talking about him for half of it. All right, it's been posted. Y'all can hop over on Reddit in the Blues Clues Reddit and give me some updates. Help get some exposure going here. I've been wanting to like post all my Inktober stuff on the Reddit. I think people would like to see it, but the only real one I can find is the Inktober reddit and they're pretty gung-ho about sticking to the rules and prompts i don't know if they'd want to see like me doing all the other non-inktober alternatives if you smell me
give you a boost. Thank you, thank you. Who is someone must get hurt? One of you guys, right? Oh, I know who this is. I know who this is. I recognize those nails anywhere. <laughs> this really glued my blues. <laughs> Don't look at my account too hard. That's exactly why I did add long. Because I was posting in like my community reddits and stuff. I didn't want to do it as spoof eh? Then I started wanting to post comics. But then you had to have like a certain amount of karma on your account to do it, and I already had the karma on add along, so I said fuck it. Plus, I don't know, I think it's kind of funny that I'm spoofy everywhere else, but then I'm suddenly just add along 2308 on Reddit. God, here I, I fucking wonder why I can't build up and retain an audience. Me for real, yeah, that, you have a guilty pleasure of doing that. You almost live for the thrill of abandoning an account and starting a new one. <laughs> it's a big deal for me to not be named Sploofe on something. Don't call me out. Oh no, your deviant art is popping off. That's like the one website you don't want to get a following on. <laughs> That's awesome though. I mean, honestly, I, I'm shocked that you haven't gotten more followers on all of your art accounts. That's, that's just proof that this world is unjust. I cannot make account names that aren't cringe. I always like this girl likes turtles. What was it on? Okay, yeah, your Reddit one's a little cringe. Like, is that a threat? Are you threatening me? Damn, that crow that you drew was beautiful. Holy shit. <laughs> Why did that picture of your crochet one get censored? That's crazy. say some of my man boob guys they get flagged too because the auto sensor thinks that they're tits i mean they are tits yeah but still
Honestly, I am, dude. I've been getting more and more, like, edgy with the humor lately. Especially this Inktober, I mean... Just flat out throwing that Blue's Clues picture out there with no content warning or anything. That That's kind of a ballsy... Ballsy move. And yeah, a lot of gore. I have been getting kind of violent with this shit lately. It's Inktober, man. What are we supposed to do, you know? <laughs> Am I supposed to be drawing the motherfucking Easter Bunny? Huh? Frolicking through the fields? Hippity hoppity? <laughs> the bike comic made me cringe so hard. That one was so fun to make. <laughs> I had such a good time doing that. And I try to like not make it too disturbing, the violence, but then to be fair, last night's was pretty disturbing. Your DA is a uh, we weirdin. With that many Y's. Weirdin, weirdin, weirdin. Oh, I see is, I see is. All panic, no disco, baller. Can I read out your profile out loud? AI and NFT accounts will be blocked immediately. <laughs> wow, okay, way to discriminate. Yo, the monkey one came out so good. I didn't actually see the final image of that. Yeah, you've been going hard lately. Dude, I know, I I mean, I feel like on any single app these days, it's just flooded with bots and AI and NFT shit. Everywhere. Oh shit, okay, I see you. I see you, Kaiju. Well, I, I wouldn't be overly concerned about him looking too furry.
Him, her, they, thems. Bays. The braided hair is sick. Nice, I'm looking forward to that one. That is really, really cool. You should have him and Monkey Man battle it out. Crossover of the century. I'm stalling because I'm, I'm like, I really am just about done here. I know, lame one today, so sorry. But, uh. You know how it be. You know how it be here. This, this isn't new for any of you guys in chat. We all know how we roll. Oh, actually, one second. Let me see something. My friend texted me about Halloween. friend know that I'm gonna be out of town for a wedding that night he just gave me a thumbs down so we might have like uninterrupted weekend jamboree next week and that'll serve as like the big finale stream and I'll still be live the next few days after to come and draw come and go but you know what I mean. Shit, okay. That changes the plan a little bit. I won't lie to you, Chet. I would like absolutely love to do that because I was, I've been having so much fun with Rezzy. Rezzy Evil. And... 12 hour stream when dude i mean honest to god if we want to go absolutely crazy next weekend i could maybe do like subathon type shit i took off friday and monday from work so we could like actually have a fucking marathon dead ass i don't know if having a subathon is like kind of cringy though when i have the follower amount that i do I would do it for, you know, obviously all of it would be for raising money for the hurricane funds, but. But at the same time, I mean, I would kind of want to stream a shit ton regardless of how much money we get, you know? I just want to play some spooky games, man. Resident Evil 7's been so much fun. I want to go right into Village when we're done with this. And then I want to like, you know, obviously have a bunch of those like dumb little one-off games lined up that are nothing but cheap jump scares. We can have some movie nights in Discord too. Think it'd be nice, no pressure, just chilling for sure. But at the same time, how sick would it be if I could like raise a decent amount of money? cap it all off how scary do you want to go on the discord movies i'm okay going scary with it i was okay i was just gonna say i'm glad you said that because the only thing i kind of want to avoid is like heavy gore shit because personally believe it or not i'm not a fan of heavy gore 
Uh, I don't mind drawing it when it's like done in a cartoon style, like Ren and Stimpy or that fucking bite comic I did, but when it comes to movies like Terrifier, where it's just nothing but realistic gore the entire time, I don't really fuck with that. Same with the Saw movies. I never liked the Saw movies. Never understood the appeal. We know for a fact that we will be watching Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And believe it or not, that actually has some twisted gore in it. You'd be surprised at how disgusting some parts of that movie get. If you haven't seen it. I might actually be able to watch too. Let's go. I know I need I need you to fill in the afternoon hours, Turtle Girl. All my viewers are used to the nighttime schedule. As you can see right now, nobody's here. But at the same time, I'm kind of okay with that because they would just be giving me shit for quitting early anyways. Dark and Wicked. Why is this? Your mama. Your mama. Things. She would sit right beside him, just whispering. But she ain't talking to him. We found it in her pocket. She didn't believe in God. What's the matter with him? I found mom's diary. What if she saw something out there? I told y'all not to come. The strangers, let's go. There are things in this. I world. always forget about that movie, but that's a scary Wicked one too. Things. Wicked. And they come for whoever they want. I saw something. She wasn't crazy. Do you smell him? He's close now. He's close now. He's not out there. I got my knee, my, my jaw. I've been wearing a long time ago. Oh, where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? He's already here. Was that... Logan Roy? Logan Roy? What the hell's his actual actor's name? He's already here. Couldn't be. He would be like one of the star credits. Yeah, honestly, that looks pretty good. I'd be down. I want, would like to have a nice mixture of like, you know, some actual spooky shit, some classics, and then just some dumb stuff like Killer Clowns. So yeah, I mean, we'll see. No matter what, the plan is still to stream as much as I can for that long weekend. Uh, I guess the idea before was just that I'd be leaving like Saturday evening and uh, going out to party and then coming back Sunday. But now, if they're not looking to go out next Saturday at all, then... You know, we might be in it for the long haul. Uh, someone got upset by the Blue's Clues post. They downvoted me and they downvoted Turtle Girl. 
This this might be a controversial post, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I have diplomatic immunity though No rules Except it has to be Blue's Clues related They might not like it But they can't remove it <laughs> It's like It's like leaving a graffiti tag On a public building He said turned out great. Can't wait for this one to sell out on Etsy. Should I make prints of that one? You would buy one? That's wild. That is wild. <laughs> So there's like, okay, so here's the thing. There's a couple from this year that I think I would make prints of, and it'd probably be the Castlevania one. Um, the guy getting high. And then, you know, maybe Blue's Clues. But I definitely need to like go back and touch them up if I'm gonna sell them as a print. Like just a tiny little bit of effort on each one, but you know, it'd be something that would take a little bit of time. I'm just a little overwhelmed with the process. Like, I, I promise you guys, for God's sake, I promise like I will 100% make these prints, but I'm just kind of like taking my time right now because I want to make sure I do this shit right. Turtle Girl, I still have your prints from last time, too. And I, I will send them out, I promise. They're just, you know, hella expensive to ship over there. In basement, dude. I there was a fucking centipede crawling around my bathroom mirror this morning. God damn it! Like I've I've seen those bastards hanging around before in here. That's that's like nothing new for me. But to have them in the bathroom mirror, like fuck off, man. I had to kill them. Usually I give them a fighting chance to just crawl back into the wall or just, you know, let Ofi take care of it. But this guy, I had to intervene. Good luck, Kaiju. Good luck. That, may, that probably makes me sound disgusting. Like, you guys are probably picturing me in, like, Asmongold's apartment right now full of dead rats everywhere and mold and shit no i live in an old ass apartment building and centipedes are just a way of life here and I, I as i understand it it's like a delicate ecosystem because those centipedes are eating other shit that i don't want to deal with and you know there's cracks in like the foundations and like the baseboards of this apartment and the windowsills and doorways and those fuckers like they just crawl right in there so it's like, you know, if I see one running across the floor, yeah, it's disgusting and horrific. They they crawl on the wall here every once in a while because there's a doorway here. It's horrific, but I know they're just trying to like get back into the wall or something, you know. There's no way in hell a centipede would willingly climb up on top of a person. That ain't their style.
So trust me, I'm not a degen, but at the same time, it is kind of gross. Yeah, man, I just feel like I could go really hard with the lighting on this one and make it look a lot better. It still looks great as is, but it's just kind of flat. Which I guess that is Blue's Clues. It's pretty flat, isn't it? I'm seriously about to sit here and spend another five hours on that Blue's Clues one. Okay, have fun committing the big genocide. We got Silverfish, so don't worry. Yuck. Those guys are nasty, too. I do think centipedes look worse, though. Centipedes are just so jarring when you see them. I've been exposed to them my entire life because they were rampant in my parents' basement. But they still freak me out. One thing I felt like I could improve on this picture after I posted it last night was that I could probably move like the entire thing down a little bit. Like so. Or actually one second, like so. That's the thing with Inktober, dude. It's like you spend so much time in one sitting staring at something that you have to just like crank it out, get it done. Then you post it and you have that time to like step away from it and you look back at it and you're like, shit, this is something that could have easily been changed, should have been changed and would have made it 10 times better. Yo, what up, Adon? We took your advice and we posted to the Blues Clues Reddit and they are not happy with it, bro. technically is allowed they said there's no rules in the reddit so i don't know if they can really delete it if they delete it i will fucking protest i'm looking at it right now you gotta get in there you gotta give me some uh backup bro
turtle girls out there on the front lines fighting for me. Someone commented saying, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, Turtle Girl. They downvoted the drawing, too. <laughs> I'm cringing. <laughs> what a sincere comic a comment rather <laughs> I didn't realize you were posting people shit on there Someone's got to upvote Turtle Girl's comment. You can't let her sit at zero. I'm going to downvote Environmental Door 904. <laughs> I get so petty on Reddit. It really brings out the worst side in me, dude. Yeah, it makes sense, Adon. It, like, it actually is crazy how decent Reddit is for posting art. You know? Especially if you're doing fan art or, like, of a topic or something. Because all these communities want is for shit to be relevant to the community. I know, I can't believe this. I mean, I kind of can believe it, but I can't believe it at the same time. Like, that has 10,000 more than the trolley comic, which I thought that was going to be a top one. I would rather my own shit be getting that many, but that's fine. It makes sense. Everyone loves Simpsons. It was it was a perfect storm of like Simpsons and making fun of Trump, which is like a five course meal for redditors.
I'm texting my friend to see if they have like a rough estimate when they'll be done golfing. Um, but either way, I, I probably won't be like gaming or anything today, chat. It would be kind of pointless. I feel like I would just start playing for about 30 minutes and then have to stop. Dude, Cuba, have you guys heard how Cuba is like, the whole country is in a blackout right now? Apparently they got some power restored last night, but now it sounds like it shut off again. That's scary, dude. Yeah, I've heard it's been like a long, a very slow burn of people like kind of expecting it, but from what it sounds like, the entire country is dark. Mommy mom. Like apparently on Friday they closed schools and they told state workers to stay home to conserve energy. Crazy. The communist run country's aging and crumbling infrastructure requires constant maintenance and the government has often blamed the decades old US embargo on Cuba for making it difficult to import parts. President said that after the power is reestablished, blackouts throughout the country will continue regularly. Wow, isn't that comforting to hear? How many people live in Cuba? About 11 million. It was 10,979,000 10, in 2024, 18, or 0.18% decline from 2023. People also ask, is Cuba a rich or poor country? Scary shit, dude. I can't imagine. The few times in summer, I mean, at least once a summer, we have a thunderstorm that rolls through here that totally knocks out power. And it just happened this summer, too, about a month and a half or so ago. And uh, it happened pretty late at night. I think the generator got hit at like 9 or 10. And then power wasn't restored till about like 3 in the morning. So it was just an overnight thing, but... You know, obviously I was awake for a majority of that. You just feel so like vulnerable. It really puts in perspective like how much of my life revolves around screens. <laughs> Fortunately, I had some candles on reserve. I was able to light up and kind of just enjoy doodling and reading and stuff, but I got paranoid about all the shit in my fridge. Ugh. Wouldn't wish that to anyone, man. Yeah. 
You ready? You ready? You ready? What song is this, by the way? Um, it's another Windows 96 album. Nocturne Button Presses. Power went out yesterday. <laughs> That's right. Indoor breaker malfunction. Is that what it was? Yeah, I've never had it with like my building, but our electric company here is called We Energies and they have a monopoly on it. And they're fucking annoying because every year they keep raising the rates. Like they're always proposing like a 10% rate increase. And this year people are finally starting to like protest it and shit. And I think there's like a movement to have a more community run kind of system, but I, I don't even know how you'd begin to do something like that. Um, and I will say, like, it is annoying that when a big thunderstorm comes through, you almost know for a fact that the power is going to go out. But again, uh, on the flip side, they literally send people out immediately. Like, you can go on the app and you can see where the outages are being reported, and they let you track where the workers are going. So you can like watch them in real time fix shit up. So I don't know, man. I don't agree with constantly raising our rates, but at the same time, like I get you have to run a system here to make it actually work. It was fucking spooky the other night when the power went out because they just had a big industrial truck that kept driving through the neighborhood and they had spotlights on it that were like moving and shining up in the trees and on the power lines and shit. So they'd come by the apartment here and it'd be pitch black and then all of a sudden this like blinding light would come through because they'd be shining a spotlight directly into my window. And again, this is happening at like one in the morning <laughs> while it's thundering outside. <laughs> it was, it was very surreal. Uh, honestly, the electricity is not expensive here. So my last bill I paid, I accidentally forgot to pay the previous month's bill, so it doubled. But the total bill was 116 bucks for two months of electricity. And that's because I was running the AC the past two months, so that was sucking a lot more out. But usually I pay like 40 bucks a month for electricity, which I don't know if that is expensive or not. It's pretty normal from what I've experienced in Wisconsin. Um, and I think there was a little bit of a late fee on that $100 bill too. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't bother me any. Yeah, so August, August was $64. September was $51 because I, I took out my AC like halfway through the month. So from here on out, it's probably going to be about 40 bucks a month. I'm pretty good at like, you know, shutting off all my electronics and shit when I'm not using them. But we have the cheapest electricity in Washington because of our strong Columbia River and we have numerous dams. Let's go, dude. A couple of years ago, um, I shouldn't say a couple of years ago. It's probably well over a decade now. They installed a bunch of those like wind turbines out in the countryside by my hometown. And a lot of the farmers were like super pissed and people are like, it's going to kill birds. It's going to kill birds. The birds fly into the windmills. They're going to be such an eyesore. It's going to be awful. Well, they ended up building them. Uh, so now we have like 30 windmills out in the countryside. It looks pretty sick. And uh, we just drove through a couple months ago and now they're putting a bunch of solar panels out there too, which is pretty awesome to see. 
I don't know, I'm rambling about this so much, but it was, it was shocking to be seeing that in like hillbilly bumfuck territory of Wisconsin, you know? chill a little longer chat I got a little bit of time DJ 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 energy is a long term human problem Every year we need more and more energy, yeah. and I decay we can't exactly dam up every river. Nuclear energy, I think, is the solution for now until we can figure something out. Yeah, I'm all, I fuck with nuclear energy. Just wouldn't want to live near a plant, you know? for all but not in my backyard classic nimby i okay if it was coming to my area i wouldn't like vote against it or any shit but i would probably seriously consider moving somewhere else because seriously who wants to live with that shit in their backyard A lot of lakes and empty space. Yeah, just build them in the middle of the fucking lakes. They gotta put some oil rigs in Lake Michigan too, dude. No, I mean, what they really need to fill in the empty space with more of those windmills. Like, it's such a good idea. I know it takes a lot for those windmills to actually power shit, but that's why. I mean, you get a fuck ton of them built all over the state and all the farm country. I know those farmers got fat paychecks for allowing those to go in their backyards too, so it's not like they're gonna be complaining. And again, the solar panels, more of that shit too. Only issue is that those solar panels are going to be like practically useless in winter when there's zero sunshine for weeks at a time. It's scary shit, man. I mean, when you really think about what the hell our long term plan is for a lot of this stuff, it, it's genuinely unnerving couldn't imagine bringing a baby into this uncertainty sorry kids we weren't able to figure it out but uh hopefully you guys will think of something in the 11th hour So let me, this is very similar to a prompt I did a couple of years ago. Let's try finding that one. I remember some people were actually a little pissed off at me when I did this. Back in the day. It is a little mean spirited, I won't lie. 
I think it was for the third Inktober. <laughs> yep. Day 12. The prompt this day was forgot. So I posted this and said I forgot to do the prompt. <laughs> I remember you guys in chat giving me shit and some people on Instagram gave me shit too. <laughs> And you could tell it was a while ago, too, because uh, I would have been using the man boob guy. Don't know who this little string bean is. To this day, this is still one of my all-time favorite Inktobers that I did. I feel like this one did not get as much love as I would have thought. Although I will say, it was the only time that my high school art teacher ever liked any of my posts. So that was a little fulfilling. The only issue is that like I switched the, the boards on the tracks midway through they go from being underneath the tracks to on top of them but if i'm getting that nitpicky about this shit that means it's pretty good right chat right chat right chat right chat right chat right chat and look at that man i should have slapped a little more of a color filter on it too that really that helps a lot. Not like that. That's obviously too much. Thank you, Turtle Girl. I knew you had good taste. And then the next day, I like the one I did after that, too. This was when I first realized, like, holy shit, I should probably be playing around with some of the weird effects on this program and actually have some fun. I don't even remember how the hell I made this guy. But I should try to do more stuff like this. stuff good stuff okay getting this posted
Caps Inktober. This is the dude who literally just took the list of Inktober and just made his own alternative one. Don't look at that. This was me looking at cube effects. <laughs> this one. Like this ended up being one of the most linked posts on the Inktober Reddit because everyone enjoyed this list so much more than the actual official one. And the dude's so humble, because where is it here? Um, yeah, someone's like, is there a good hashtag? Um... Oh no, here we go. I was happy to, I was able to make a list people liked. P.S. Feel free to share this. You don't need to link them back to me or anything as this is my only social and I don't really care for the attention. How, how cute is that? And this is a good list. Look at these, man. Pumpkin, Decay, Endure, eh. Acorn, Squirrel, eh. Chase, Grow, Mirror, Ember, Octopus, Joy, eh, Dozen, eh, Stone, Eyes, Crow, Bumpy, Gale, Ambitious, Gone, Bones, Splash, Stitch, Leaf, Warm, Shine, Dread, Harvest, Pie, Delicate, Graveyard, and Wonder. Like, that's actually a pretty fucking good list. I feel like that dude understood the Inktober assignment more than the actual Inktober creator. It's a bad sign when you have like so many people asking for alternative lists and making a pinned post on the Reddit as a collection of all the alternative prompts. That's really not a good sign for October. Love the octopus one. Yeah, your tattoo looks sick, by the way. Just want to say. I would love to do the octopus, too. I love drawing underwater stuff. There's maybe like four or five on here that I think would bother me to do, but the rest are pretty sick. But at the end of the day, I really like this random wheel idea. I think this will be the format going forward for a while. But I just think that, uh, I think that starting next year, I'm gonna not draw every single day. <laughs> like, I think I'm gonna give myself two break days or something throughout the week just to do some gaming or something instead. Um... Part of that being because it makes it less of a slog for me, but I think it makes it less of a slog for you guys too. Like, don't don't even say that, Adon, because the other night, man, everyone wanted me to stop. Well, last night you wanted me to stop drawing to play Resident Evil. But the first night that we started Resident Evil, everyone was so fucking excited that we were done drawing. And I used to think that it, everyone felt the opposite, that people wanted to, like, see me do more drawings than gaming, which I think is still the case. But that's why I think that, like, kind of laying out a schedule moving forward would be the best way to go about it. Let people know which nights are going to be the game nights so they can tune in for that. Uh, have scheduled movie nights throughout the month. I think that will, like would be maximizing Inktober to its fullest potential. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I love having all 31 drawings done at the end of the month. That, that is such a good feeling, but... Again, it just it becomes a slog for everyone, you know? People want to see variety here. Got to find that healthy balance. That's that's exactly what it is. Like I said, I think there's a way to really 
find the right combination and mixture of drawing, gaming, movies. Because then it actually feels like Halloween, right? Like this shit, this ain't Halloween at all. This is just a dumb little gag. Last night was definitely disturbing. I want to see more creative me. shit. Crackula cock. You're not getting Crackula cock. Because the whole point is that we're trying to celebrate Halloween. It's my favorite time of the fucking year. But we hardly ever do spooky shit because we just don't have time for it until the end of the month when I do the long stream. So, yeah. I think the, the wheel idea has been really cool. But I think maybe better... Better balance. It's just like Turtle Girl said, a healthy balance. You could unironically do satanic ritual stuff. Yeah, we don't need to do that. <laughs> it's funny when I draw that stuff in cartoon form, but if I actually sit here and try practicing rituals, that just looks disturbing. Nor would I even want to fuck around with that. I like reading about rituals and stuff, but I sure as hell would never want to actually do it myself. Because knowing my luck, God is real and he would punish me. This is subreddit for night rituals. It's called Three Kings. Let's look this up. Where the hell was this info last night, bro? Looking for a ritual to summon a god I can't find again. Please don't actually try this 12 years ago. Basements usually work well. We could have Kaiju do this. Very large, empty, quiet room, pack of candles, bucket of water and a mug, fan, two large mirrors, three chairs, an alarm clock, active cell phone, a loved one willing to follow rules, small toy or dear object from your childhood. So, this, this was making me think of a really good, crazy movie I watched a couple weeks ago, right before Inktober. And it was called Let's Go to the World Fair. Something like that. Something, something, go to the World Fair. I want to go to the World Fair. Let's go to the World Fair. Something like that. And it was a really good movie that I totally recommend all of you guys watch. Uh, I won't say that it's something that you're ever going to want to watch again, probably, because I don't want to. But it's a great thing to have on your second monitor because it starts off so fucking slow. Because it, it's really set up almost like a live stream. Like you're watching someone's live stream, especially for the beginning of it. So it almost feels like you're watching a real Twitch stream. We're all going to the World's Fair. That sounds right. It's called, I believe, we're all going to the World's Fair. And it's it's about like an online ARPG where people are like performing these rituals and they're following a set guideline of rules to keep ascending to go to the quote unquote World Fair. It, it was genuinely disturbing and scary at some points, but then the final fucking twist was like incredible. And it is so relevant for the internet today. Like, it almost like really hit home for me, especially as a streamer with a community and stuff. Like, it was just very, very topical in the best way possible. I would, ho I would like wholeheartedly recommend y'all watch it. And again, I would say start off by watching it on a second monitor or have it in the background. Let the boring shit happen. 
and then something happens and you'll be like, oh shit, this is the real deal. And then you'll be locked in. I think it's like an hour and a half too, so it's not a super long movie, but I, I just can't really talk too much about it because it's, it's so weird and abstract. And because the best part of the movie is kind of like the big twist, you know? You can't spoil that. Oh my god, so early. I know, dude, this feels wrong. This feels wrong. I don't like it when it's... I get the sunlight shining on me. I feel dirty. Um... Unfortunately, we are close to wrapping up. <laughs> I got a text back from my friend. They're going to be done golfing in a little bit. So I got to get my shit together. For shit's sake, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. We'll be back tomorrow, obviously. But tonight we're busy. Um, we're starting the the final stretch that we're fine we're starting the final stretch here um getting into the 20s starting tomorrow next weekend's gonna be our big dgen streaming marathon i just got news tonight that i might not be going out next saturday night potentially so if that's the case we're gonna be marathoning um yeah big weekend and then just kind of do the awkward epilogue days where we come back and stream another few days in a row just to come do the prompt and piss off Hanky just pacing in his room right now. <laughs> Dude, next weekend's gonna be so sick though. I'm so, so excited, man. So excited. Getting so, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of obligation, both socially and stream wise. It's been so fucking good for me after this summer where I like was just in the pits mentally and rotting away. Let's bring the total to $60. Yo, Adon, let's go, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 60 is a nice looking number on there. I like that. Nice and clean. Um... Yeah, I mean, again, I won't go into too much detail, but your boy was just rotting this summer. Mentally, physically. I wasn't performing my obligations at all, both stream-wise, drawing-wise, creative-wise, and socially. Like, I wasn't reaching out to any of my friends. I wasn't hanging out with anyone. I was just rotting. So I went from one extreme to the next extreme where suddenly it's like okay now every fucking week and i'm back to this shit hanging out different people going to two weddings bachelor party yada yada parents coming to town and it, it's been really good for me to get me back in the groove but now it's like okay blue fay let's find the healthy combination well, what did turtle girl say before the healthy balance because a healthy balance exists and it's doable and it is how we keep Spluffe at max efficiency and max happiness. But I got to do some work to figure out what that balance truly, truly is. Mental Rot is great for the creative process. All I was doing was making songs. And I don't even think I'm going to release most of that shit because I'm just I'm so sick of hearing them now. They just did not turn out the way I wanted them to. So that is like just a complete waste of fucking time outside of the couple comics I would do here and there.
That's how I feel with work right now. Yeah, dude, it's... You can't let anything take over your life, man. Nothing. That, that includes work, it includes streaming, it includes gaming, it includes everything. Hanging out with people. Nothing should be all-encompassing. Everything in moderation. But it has felt really good. It really has felt good. I'm very happy with what I've been putting out. I always love hanging with you guys. Um, I just wish we could be getting some more gaming in, but yeah, next weekend will be good for that. Fucking puppet combo, dude. I don't even like, I'm not even subscribed to their Patreon and they just sent me a free code for their game that just came out. Sniper killer. I feel bad, but you know, they sent it to me. They said sniper killer is the latest. I'm going to show the email and make sure I don't show off the product key. Um, sniper killer is the latest extravaganza from Jordan King and Henry Hoare. I see you 16, you 69. Feels good, man. so much 60 is a nice number but you know 69 is the nice number Intrigued by Sniper Killer. It's by the people who made Blood Wash. Because Puppet Combo is now like a team of people. It's no longer just the same guy cranking shit out. Like they actually have other people involved with them now. Um, and the same team who did Blood Wash, which I thought was pretty fun a couple years ago. I've been working on this one for two years, apparently. Eliminate your victims as a serial killer dubbed the Sniper Killer. Terrorize the city with your keen eye and thirst for justice while staying one step ahead of a detective hellbent on bringing you to justice. So it doesn't look like it's flat out horror, but you know. It's puppet combo, so there's going to be those elements to it. That's probably going to be something that we check out next weekend along with Resi 7. Gonna be uh, trying to finish Resi 7 either this week or next weekend and just jump right into eight. Crank those two back to back. Yeah. You know, it's uh, we're getting to the final chunk of the month, but I think it's gonna be the best part of the month. I'm, I'm excited these next couple of weeks here. So with that all in mind, chat, I think I'm going to have to let y'all go. Hanky and Adon, thank you both for the donations. You made this, dude. <laughs> Look at young boy Spluffe. Mm -hmm. My old haircut there. 
Good times. Yeah, that face is a jump scare, dude. Can't believe I had a mustache back then. All right, well, I'm gonna go get ready to party, y'all. I got, I, I ordered some liquid IV I'm bringing to the function, so no hangovers. Just gonna be tired and have a bad, a bad voice tomorrow. I'm gonna shower, won't be stanky. Yeah, it'll be fun. So thank you everyone for hopping into this weird afternoon stream. Probably gonna be back tomorrow evening. Um, yeah. Hope y'all have a great rest of your Saturday. Turtle Girl, thank you for coming to my defense on Reddit. Same for you, Adon. We're doing some heavy lifting on there. Very important work. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see, Turtle Girl. At the very least, you will absolutely be seeing me next weekend if you are free because we will be streaming i'm trying to stream like all afternoon all night next weekend so yeah we're doing we're gonna be doing some dgen marathoning i'm really really excited for it i'm getting sick of all this socializing i just want to be a hermit Cracula cock when he comes back, I bet. Yeah, probably not, but you know, you can tell yourself that if it makes you happy. Hermit life's the best life, it is. I get my one hermit weekend, then it's right back to the wedding the following. All right. Deuces, y'all. Peace and love. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. And see you lovely people tomorrow night. Have fun at church in the morning. I won't be attending church, but I will be watching a live stream and praying alongside in real time.